my front yard here. Working on my boat today. A little tropical storm, tropical depression out there in the Gulf, so we can't be out there. This is the new boater I bought. Got it running. Um, had to put a stator. Stator goes right up under this thing right here. This is the old stator right here. It was bad. So I went to a boat shop here locally, bought another one. Uh, they list for $300, but the guy had it on the shelf for so long he cut me a break, bought it for $120. Put it on there, runs just fine. I got my controls hooked up, um, tilt and trim. This is something that this boat has not had uh, since right after I bought it, is tilt and trim because the motor went bad and I had to buy that motor over there. But I'm at the helm. I wired it up just a while ago. Yeah, I get tickled over the simplest things. But that is just neat right there to have tilt and trim. So I got tilt and trim at the helm. <clears throat> Steering works real easy on this motor right here. All that is just so smooth. I've got to put the cover back over the carburetor carburetors uh, basically getting it set up for next weekend um, next weekend we're gonna be on the water and doing some hopefully doing some filming from the water and testing this motor out see what it's gonna be all about this is a 90 horse that's a 115 now here's my plan got an extra motor right there I'm planning on taking that steering unit off that motor right there and seeing if it'll fit on that old motor right there that way the old motor will have tilt and trim. If I can get tilt and trim on that old motor, I might pull this motor back off because I know that is a very reliable, dependable motor. It runs great. The only thing wrong with it is I spun the prop. Uh, but nevertheless, put that steering unit on that motor, see if it works. Then I'll put that motor back on the boat and then I will sell this motor right here might keep it i don't know i'm not not I ain't made up my mind yet we'll see we'll see when we get there just see how things go but uh for right this second this is the one i'm going to be using i'm going to paint it probably going to paint it that color right there just to make it look nicer so of course i might just take the power head off that one put the power head from that one to that one guy said it wouldn't work but if I'm using the foot and the power head, I think it should work. So, I don't know. I, I just gotta see how things is gonna go. Um, I'm gonna take it apart and see what I can do with it. I like tinkering with stuff. But that's where I'm at right now is I'm waist deep in wiring, which I hate. I think I would rather have my ass beat than full with wires. Cause it's just something that I hate, but like the channel says, rooster up, you just jump on top of it, get control. Oh, something else I done? I moved my key switch to the dash right there. So now the key's in the dash, but you still gotta know what you're doing to start it up. Got a little secret kill switch up in there. So that's just another thing that I did. And I'm just basically piddling around on this nice stormy day. Well, I hope you folks had a great weekend. Tomorrow's back to work and uh, go make some money so we can go have some fun next weekend. Register up. Follow me on Facebook, Keith Hawkins.